Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you how to make our denim and lace cowl. It's an easy construction, but it looks difficult. And I think this is one of the best gifts you can give to someone because it has a layer of denim stitched has a layer of lace and then we put them together and stitch the ends your friends will be asking you how in the world did you do this because it looks a lot more complicated than it actually is it's become one of my favorites and i think i may just have to keep this one for myself it's the perfect size to just slide right over your head and wear with your winter coat or your denim jacket or just when you want to add a little extra pizzazz to a sweater. It measures about eight and a half inches long and it's 24 inches around. But remember, it's nice and stretchy because we started with those foundation double crochet rows. We started with that on the lace as well as the denim portion. All right, and so it's a perfect gift for anybody who likes a little denim with their lace. <laughs> now you can find the complete pattern with lots of pictures on my blog, and as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make our denim and lace cowl, we're going to be making it into pieces, and so we're using two different yarns. The lace portion is Burnett Pop. It's 100% acrylic. Medium weight number four and the color is called Foggy Notion. And I really like this to go really well with the denim because you've got a little bit of a blue, some gray, some cream, and some beige. And you can see we started with the cream and worked our way up through the beige and the uh, grays and blues. And it looks really nice with this blue. And we're going to be using the stone wash blue called denim. This is I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. Now there are lots of different denim yarns that you can use or even modeled yarns from different companies. I know Lion Brand has a nice denim line and so does Michaels. And so both of our yarns are 100% acrylic. You're going to need about two and a half ounces of each of your yarns. Two and a half ounces of whatever you're using for your lace portion and two and a half ounces for whatever you're using for your denim portion. And of course, you don't have to use a mottled blue. You can use a solid blue. I just really like this and I love how these two work together. All right, so you need two different yarns, two and a half ounces of each. It would look really pretty in other colors besides blue, like a nice bright white with a yellow or a pink underneath or red. So just get in your yarn stash and sort of play with some of your colors. See what goes together. We're going to be stitching both pieces with our eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Then you'll need a needle for weaving in ends and your scissors. We're going to begin by stitching a row of foundation double crochets and we're going to stitch 72. And the way we do that is we start with our slip knot and we chain four. These first three chains will count as your first stitch. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go in that uh, fourth chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and only go through that first loop. We've created a chain. Now we're going to finish off our double crochet. Yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over and go through the last two. Yarn over, go in that chain that you made and pull up a loop. Yarn over and only go through that first chain. Yarn over, go through the next two. Yarn over and go through the next two. This is how you stitch 
a row of foundation double crochets. You're going to need a total of 72 foundation double crochets and we're beginning with our lace portion of our double cowl, denim and lace or lace and denim. And we're going to be stitching the lace portion first, then we'll stitch the denim portion and put them all together. So we're beginning with a row of foundation double crochets and we're stitching 72 foundation double crochets. And remember, you need to count this chain three at the very beginning as your first stitch. So let's stitch 72 foundation double crochets. So I have stitched 72 foundation double crochets and remember to count this chain three as your first double crochet. All right, so now we're going to join this into a circle and we want to make sure that we do not put a twist in our circle. So lay it out nice and flat. We're going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch and we're going to go ahead and chain three. Now before we go on to our next row, we want to grab our needle and we want to close this gap. So we'll take our tail of yarn and put it on our needle. There we go. And we're going to hold that together and just make a couple of stitches there to close that gap. We don't want a gap in our cowl. And then we'll just weave that in so it's going to stay put one way, then back the other. All right, then we'll go ahead and clip that. So now we have a nice flat circle. We've closed our gap and we're ready for row two. Our chain three will count as our first stitch. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three. We're going to chain two and then stitch two more double crochets in this same stitch. That's the shell stitch that we'll be using for this project. Now we'll chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to skip the next five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll stitch our shell stitch in this next stitch. And our shell stitch again is two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets all stitched in the same double crochet. Chain three, skip five, one, two, three, four, five, and shell stitch in the next stitch. which is again two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. All right, and we'll repeat this working all the way around our row. Chain three, skip five, one, two, three, four, five, and shell stitch in the next double crochet. Repeat this all the way around and we'll join back to our first chain three. I completed row two, stitching shell stitch, chain three, skip five, all the way around. And you're going to have 12 sets of your shell stitch, chain three, skip five. So you'll have 12 shells, all right? So here's our last one. Here's our last five stitches. Here's my chain three, we're going to join to that chain three where we began. We're going to slip stitch in that next double crochet 
and then slip stitch in that space and chain three. So now we're ready for row three. So we have a chain three. We're going to double crochet in that chain two space chain two and stitch two double crochets in that chain two space one and two now we'll chain three and we'll come over to our next chain two space and stitch a shell stitch which again is two double crochets chain two and two double crochets chain three come over to the next chain two space and stitch a shell stitch and chain three and so that's our repeat for row two we're stitching a shell stitch in each of the chain two spaces of the shell stitches of the previous row with chain threes in between. And we'll repeat this all the way around and again join back to that first chain three. And doesn't this make a beautiful lacy shell row? All right, so we'll continue to repeat this around and join back to our first chain three. I have completed row three, stitching a shell stitch in each of the chain two spaces of my shell stitches with chain threes in between. Here's my last one. We're going to join again to that chain three. Then we'll slip stitch in the next double crochet and slip stitch in that chain two space and chain three. All righty. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat row three for eight more rows. You'll slip stitch into that chain two space and chain three, and then you'll stitch your shell stitch with the chain three in between in each of your chain two spaces just like we did on row three. And you're going to repeat row three for eight more rows. And that's going to give us our nice lacy portion of our cowl. So I repeated row three for eight more rows. And isn't that beautiful how it moves from cream to beige to this light gray and edges with a little bit of blue. So now we have the lace portion and we want to add a row of double crochet across the top so we have something at the bottom and the top to attach our denim portion to when we slide it inside. So on our last row, row 11, we're going to join to our chain three and we're going to go ahead and chain three. Now we're going to double crochet in our next double crochet. We'll skip that chain two space and stitch one double crochet in the next two double crochets. So we've double crocheted in the four double crochets of the shell, but not the chain two space. Now this brings us to our chain three space and we're going to stitch two double crochets in that chain three space. Now we come to our next shell and we're going to stitch a double crochet in each of those four double crochets. Now we come to our chain three and we'll stitch two double crochets in that chain three space. And what we're doing is we're forming a nice even row of double crochets around the top of our cowl. And so we'll place two double crochets in our chain three spaces, one double crochet in the next two double crochets, skip the chain two space in the middle, and one double crochet in the next two double crochets. 
and repeat this working all the way around the top edge of our cowl for our lacy portion. We'll work this all the way around and join back to our chain three. So I completed that row, stitching one double crochet in each of the four double crochets of our shells, and then two double crochets in the chain three spaces. Gives us a nice row of double crochets to work with. And now we can join to our chain three with a slip stitch and cut our yarn. Pull that loop to the inside for a nice finish. I weaved my end in. It's all nice and tidy. And so this is the way that the lacy portion should look. And if you just want a nice lacy cowl, you can just use this one section if you want to. But we want this to be warm. And so we're going to do a denim section that we're going to slide inside and then stitch them together. So now we're going to make the denim portion that slides inside of our lace front. And we're going to begin exactly the same way that we did with our lace portion. We'll start with 72 foundation double crochets. So I chained four, yarn over, go in that first or fourth chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through that first loop, yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over, and go through the next two. And we'll do this exactly the same way that we began our lace portion. We're going to stitch 72 foundation double crochets. And remember when you're counting to count that first chain three here as your first stitch. So we're stitching 72 foundation double crochets. I have stitched 72 foundation double crochets just like we did on the lace section. We're going to lay it out flat so it's not twisted. We're going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And again, we're going to grab that needle and close up that gap so we don't have a hole in the bottom of our cowl. All right. <clears throat> so make a couple of stitches here and then just weave that in so it's attached securely. All right, so that's row one of our denim section or portion, whatever you want to call it. And now we're ready for row two. For row two, for our denim section, super easy. We're just going to place one double crochet in each of the double crochets around because we want this to be a nice solid and warm row. I should say portion because we're going to be stitching the whole portion of our denim section in double crochets. One double crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around and then again we'll join back to our chain three. I have completed row two, just stitching one double crochet in each of our double crochets around. I joined to my chain three and chained three. And so what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat row two for 11 more rows. And this is going to give us just a nice solid tube of double crochet stitches. All right. And 
Row two is just one double crochet in each double crochet around. Join back to our chain three. So you're going to repeat row two for 11 more rows. So I've completed my additional rows. So I have 13 rows of just a tube of double crochet. And then here is my lace portion. And we're going to go in and bring it in. Line it all up. All right, now on your last row of your denim section, we joined our chain three, but we didn't chain three. We only chained one. And that's because we're going to be stitching around the top, stitching single crochets and stitching it together. All right, so I'll go in the first single crochet, I'm sorry, the first double crochet on this side and the first double crochet on this side and stitch a single crochet. And we're using the denim. If you want to go back and use the lace, you can. I just really like using the denim for the edges because I think it makes it all pop together. All right, so I'm just going to stitch a row of single crochet, stitching the lace portion and the denim portion together. And this is the top. Make sure that your shell stitches are facing this direction. All right, if they're not, it's no big deal because we're going to be doing the same thing on the end and you can just, you know, turn it over. I just like doing it this way. <laughs> All righty, so I'm just stitching a row of single crochets, stitching the lace and the denim together, working all the way around the top of my cowl, and then I'll join back to my single crochet. So I stitch single crochets all the way around, stitching my lacy portion to my denim portion. Now I'm at my first single crochet. We're going to join with a slip stitch. Then we'll go in that next loop and pull that loop to the inside so it looks nice and neat. And we'll come back in with our needle and weave that in. But what I want to do now is just turn it over. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. And I like to start on the side. We'll grab that yarn. Bring it in. There we go. And now we'll just do down here on the bottom of our cowl the same thing we did on the top. Stitching a single crochet in each of the stitches, stitching the lace section to the denim section, all the way around, and then we'll join back to that first single crochet. So I completed the bottom just like I did the top. I'm cut my yarn. I'm going to join to that first single crochet, and then pull my loop to the back and tie off. And of course, here's where I started. So I have a couple of weave-ins here, and I have this one over here. <clears throat> and then my beautiful denim and lace cowl will be ready for me to wear, because I think I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I tidied up my ends, and now I have a lovely denim and lace cowl. I can't wait to wear this with my denim jackets. <laughs>